Thursday in Regina, and the big event for the Ticats is the media breakfast. The Grey Cup was here as well as the entire team and coaching staff. It was interesting to me, Steve, uh, to watch the players interact with the Grey Cup up on stage. Some of them I, had never seen it. I, it shocked me. It, that, that part of it, guys, I thought somebody was going to touch it. You know, which of course is a, you know, I don't care one way or the other. I mean, uh, somebody won the Stanley Cup a couple of years ago by, by breaking the rules, touching the cup before the game, and, and also touching the, uh, President's the, trophy. the President's Trophy as well. And they won, I think it was Chicago, wasn't it? Uh, but, yeah, I, I, that really, that tells me that it's getting getting inside their head a little bit. I think if you haven't played in the Cup, haven't been in Canada, and a lot of these guys haven't followed even Canadian football, I think some of them had to look up CFL uh, on uh, Google when uh, when their agents said, guess what, the Ticats may, may take a chance on you. And I think that's exactly what you saw there. I, I, I think that it that it that uh, there's a realization here. There's a real crystallization of something. The other thing that I found, I think, Drew, that's also a sign of what an outsider said to me, somebody that hadn't seen this team before, and they said, I've never seen a team so loose at one of these breakfasts. This team, now they're chatters. It's a real chatty team, and that part of that is the kind of year that they've had and the time they've spent together. So these guys are, they're, they're not yappy, they're chatters. They're real talkers. Uh, the football is closed. The football practices for both teams are closed today, so we won't be able to uh, go and give you an update on practice. Thank God. <laughs> it is minus 27 degrees out there right now. That's without the windshield. Uh, we were a little chilly walking over, and it was a, about half a kilometer. So it's cold here in Regina. Uh, but a lot of the football talk has centered around Corey Sheets and what the Ticats are going to do to stop him. What are your thoughts? Well, for one thing, um, two different guys on the one side of the line actually three if you count uh, Norwood has a different body I know it's only three months ago but he had an NFL body when he was playing a defensive end against and, and, and they had back-to-back -back losses for those of you that don't remember against uh, Saskatchewan including a complete wipeout on the field here uh, that was Courtney Stevens first game uh, at, at safety that that really started to change the secondary there um, uh, who else wasn't playing then um, um, Oh, Tori were... Davis and Brandon Boudreaux, which, are, which is sort of basically the right side of the line, were, were playing. So three out of the four guys, if you count the new kind of sculptured body, he has a CFL body now on Norwich. So three out of the four guys were new. And Bulky, I think, uh, has changed, not changed his game, but he has graduated this year. He has changed from a guy that, that, that they weren't sure if he was a regular starter when he came here to really a dominant defensive tackle. There's f five things that are different. The, the safety... And, and the four, uh, and, and Markeith Knowlton, too. So the yeah. linebacker, of course, changed. Simone Lawrence, Brandon Isaac uh, were not here in Saskatchewan. Two of the three linebackers, I think both of those guys have made Good a significant, tacklers. exactly, a significant difference, particularly in the run game. And that's going to be the key, I think, against Corey Sheets, especially if the weather is, you know, it, it, the field's going to be a condition, or yeah, an issue. And no I don't what, think right? you can, you, Hamilton cannot get up to speed on cold weather and bad speed in three days. It, 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 they're going to be at a disadvantage. That's just the way it is. That's absolutely the way it is. So I think that's he's still going to have an advantage there, but it's not going to be the advantage. What did he get, 140 in the one game and 150 yeah. in the other? So 300 yards plus another 50 or 60 yards uh, catch. So his all-purpose yards were, were 350 yards in two games. I don't see him getting 175 yards, uh, uh, all-purpose yards in this game. Uh, if he does, Ticats lose. Uh, you've only been here for less than 24 hours, yeah. uh, so it's been tough to get a sense of sort of what's going on in the city, and things will really start to ramp up over the next couple of days yes. as the parties start to get Tiger going. Tiger Town opens tonight. Yeah, right, and, and a, a lot of the other parties are starting to open. The Great Cup Festival opened yesterday as well. Right. But can you, you've been here before for yes. these kind of things. What, what are you sensing from the city at this point? Man, I love it. I mean, <laughs> except for the weather. That's unfortunate. It's too bad you couldn't. Uh, don't, don't get a dome stadium. Get a dome over the whole freaking city if, uh, when, you, when you do this. But uh, I wrote about it earlier in the week, and, and it, it's gratifying. Um, it, it, it's really these two. It's two small market teams. Uh, Hamilton, you can't really call small market the way they're approaching it anymore. But they still come from the second smallest population base. Here, this is unique. Uh, really, this is Green Bay on steroids. Uh, this place, it's it's absolutely pervasive. When I came in the airport, there were all kinds of people last night. I was talking to you on the phone last night from the airport, and I almost was afraid to say I'm going to catch a cab because I thought what would happen is six people would have come and said, no, 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 I'll drive you, I'll drive you. I think you live near Ethel's place. You know, so, so the friendliness, the, this is, you know, I spent a lot of time in small towns uh, in my career working 
And this reminds me of that. Uh, there, everybody is pulling on the same oar, and I really, really, it's touching. It's really, really touching. Um, that said, um, they're also very, very hard on this football team. If, if things don't go well for them, they're very, very, very hard. And I think you can do that in a place like this where you know the team is going to be here next year. So you, so you, even if you love the team, you can, you can rip them a bit because you're not really going at the stability of the franchise. What I look at here is stability and continuity. And when I looked at that, when I was out here in the 90s for a game, I didn't know if they were going to be playing the next year. Make sure you check out the Scratching Post blog. We have tons of content up there pretty much throughout the day. And the spec is packed, packed with stuff, yep. both from Tweets. Regina and from Hamilton. Follow us both on Twitter, Milton at the spec. We're two busy gray-haired guys. We are two busy gray-haired guys. Lots of content here. Photographer Barry Gray is also tweeting photos as well. We've got lots of content from Regina, so make sure you check it all out. Reporting for the Hamilton Spectator in Regina with Steve Milton, I'm Drew Edwards.